Hi, third graders. Today we're going to uh, look at lesson 13, and we are going to find areas by decomposing rectangles or completing composite figures to form rectangles. Let's look at this word problem. Anil finds the area of a 5 inch by 17 inch rectangle by breaking it into two smaller rectangles. Show one way that he could have solved the problem. What is the area of the rectangle? So let's look. Um, we have a rectangle that's 5 inches by 17 inches, and that's a big multiplication, okay? So what can we do? We can break it into two smaller rectangles. See over here? Um, so this is the short side, 5 inches. This would be the 17 inches, and we break it into 10 plus 7. 10 plus 7 is 17. This uh, makes it easier to solve because I can do... 5, well, 5 times 17 is the area of the big rectangle, and I add the two smaller rectangles, so the 5 times 10 rectangle over here, plus, I have to add them, because I broke it apart, I have to put them back together, plus the 5, because this side is always 5, like the other one, 5 times 7 rectangle, and I add them together. So 5 times 10 is 50, plus 5 times 7 is 35, and the total is 85 square inches remember the area let me move this over here now the area of the rectangle is 85 square inches okay okay what do we do when we have a shape that is not a rectangle it's a composite shape so we can uh we can do two different things See this shape here? Uh, it's like an L shape. Um, we can do two different things. We can break it up. We can break it into two rectangles, or actually in this case, it's a square and a rectangle, and add and calculate the area of the square, which is two times two, and add it up to the area of this rectangle, which is a two by four. So we have two times two, which is four, plus two times four, which is eight, 12 square units. This is the break it up strategy, or we can make it bigger. So we pretend that we have a, um, instead of having this L, this shaded in L shape, we have a big uh, two, it's a square, uh, it's a four by four, square we pretend that we have a four by four square and then we subtract the area of this little square here the white one which is a two by two so we have four times four and then we subtract we minus two times two four times four is 16 minus two times two which is four 16 minus four is 12 square units so this is how we can um, calculate the area of a composite shape, we either break it up or we make it bigger. When we break it up, we're adding to the areas of the two rectangles, two or three. And when we make it bigger, we're, uh, we pretend that we have a bigger rectangle or square, and then we subtract the part that we don't need. All right. Okay, let's look at another one. Again, this is not uh, a rectangle. So what can we do? We can break it up into two rectangles or we can make it bigger. So look at this shape here. We have uh, one, this side is four and we can break it, for example, we can break it along this line here or we could break it along this line here. Okay. This side here is five. Okay. So we can break it along this line here, that means that we have this square, that's two times two, and then we have to add a two times five. Okay, two times two is four, plus two times five is 10. Four plus 10 is 14 square units, or we can make it bigger. Look over here, we pretend that we have this rectangle here, so we would have a four by five rectangle, make it bigger, four times five, and then we have to take away this part here. Okay, so 2 times 3, which is 6. 20 minus 6 is 14 square units. Okay. okay. 
let's see if you can do this. Look at this shape. Hmm. How can we, we can, again, we can make it bigger like this. And then we have to subtract these two parts, this two by three and this one times three. Okay. Or we can break it apart. I would break it apart along this line. That way we have this big rectangle here, this long one and this shorter one. Okay, you can pause the video and see if you can do it on your own. All right, so let's see if you have done it like I did it. Break it up, uh, break it apart, break it up. Um, so you have a two by five, two times five is 10, plus two times three is six. 10 plus six is 16 square units. If you make it bigger, um, it was five times six, five times five, let me see, three, four, five, three, four, five, five times five is 25. And then, like I said before, you have to take away this rectangle, two times three, so 25 minus six, which is 19, and then minus three is 16 square units. Okay, last one. Okay, let's look at our last one. Again, you can pause it so you can have a go and see if you solve it the same way. So again, we have this uh, shape, the shaded, uh, the gray shape, and I have to calculate the area. I do not want to count all of the square tiles, so I can break it apart, break it up, or make it bigger. Um, you also have to decide which, uh, which way is um, more practical. Personally, here I would make it bigger um, because if I break it up, I have to break it into um, three separate rectangles and then add them. Whereas if I make it bigger, I'm going to calculate this big area and then I just take away this one here. Okay, go ahead, pause the video, see how you would solve it and then see if compare it with the way I solved it. Okay, so break it up. We, can, we have to make three rectangles. So we have this two by five, two by five, and we have two identical two by fives. So I do two times five plus two times five, and then we have this little one here, which is a two times two, it's a square. So 10 plus 10 plus four, that's 24 square units. Or if you make it bigger, one, two, three, four, five, times one, two, three, four, five, six, five times six, which is 30, minus this white rectangle here, which is two times three is six. 30 minus six is 24 square units. Always remember that we're talking about square units. We don't know if they're centimeters, uh, so they're just units. Okay, uh, in your, um, you are going to, in your work, uh, you're going to do very similar activities and I think you can work independently. Enjoy doing this math work. Bye.